This is a Toyota. With all the style, with all the comfort, with all the room, with all the intelligence you'd expect from a Toyota. Toyota Tundra. It's a full-size pickup truck that'll blow away all the old preconceptions about trucks. Toyota. Often a brand synonymous with reliability, hits its mark as you'd expect with this 2006 Tundra. Being the final production year of this first-gen example, 2006 Tundras benefit from years of design and technology improvements over its predecessors. Most notably, a 4-liter variable valve timing dual overhead cam V6 mated to a 6-speed manual transmission. This powertrain, which was only available for two years, produces more power and torque than the previous year's 3.4-liter V6. That's 236 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. And with a towing capacity of over 5,000 pounds, numbers like these were enough to scare even the likes of Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. For a design that was initially acclaimed to be bland and uninspiring, this first-gen Tundra has aged quite well. Those critics would be eating their words right about now. The addition of a chrome brush guard with KC fog lamps adds a touch of brutish personality that it missed, while still maintaining an unoffensive face even your grandmother could love. But truth be told, this Tundra didn't always look like the pristine shining star parked here today. Purchased at auction, this truck looked as if it had found itself on the wrong end of a rhino. Crushed and maimed, near the entire cab was unsalvageable. This was of no concern to the owner, of course, who took the opportunity to fix it up, removing the entire cab and replacing it completely. All that work, with the help of weekly car washes, paid off because now the owner can enjoy a relatively low mileage, like new Tundra whose looks deceive its age. At a measly 200,000 miles, this Toyota is an eager-eyed college grad, ready to truly begin life as a hard-working adult. Everything prior was just preparation for the countless years of grinding until retirement comes knocking at the door, upon which it'll be sent to a junkyard to be crushed into a cube. The mangled, leaking carcass haphazardly tossed onto a towering pile of decrepit skeletons, laying in a deathbed with those who have shared a similar fate, waiting, waiting until the day that finally incinerated, flesh and bones melted down in hopes of one day being born again, only to be revitalized. Things about the interior that are not surprising. Number one, it's clean. Although this truck is heavily used for cross-country road trips, drywall hauling, and more, no aspect of this cockpit would indicate it. You could do open-heart surgery in this cabin. Number two, everything works. AM FM radio doesn't function, but that's just a side effect of the antenna getting torn off at the car wash. The head unit has been upgraded to support Apple CarPlay and any other MP3 player. So who really cares anyway? And number three, the shifter. Being a manual transmission Toyota, the shifter wiggles around as if there's no transmission link to it at all. But hey, it gives you something to fiddle with at a stoplight. Overall, it's a pleasant place to be. It's simple, it's comfortable. Unless, of course, you have to sit in the back. It's just about the only place on the planet where it behooves you to have no legs. Tundra, a word defined as a vast, flat, treeless arctic region in which the subsoil is permanently frozen. Not exactly the image evoked when one of these drives down the street, but this truck is not nearly as cold and lifeless as its name suggests. In fact, it's just the opposite. As mentioned previously, 200,000 miles is essentially the break-in period for most Toyotas. Under current ownership, a time period of four years, this truck has traveled an impressive 120,000 miles. And throughout that duration, only the alternator, steering pump, and front brake calipers were replaced. Alongside typical wear items, of course. Clutch, tires, brakes, you get the idea. And thanks to a healthy undercoating, not a speck of rust threatens this truck's integrity. But it's not all sunshine and daisies. There's a small oil leak from the timing chain cover, and the third gear synchro is taking a dump. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next mile.